What's going on everyone? Appreciate you guys being here as always and hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Uh, here today to do a quick review, this is just a general overview, kind of a rundown on one of the newer Fox Pros that's out. This is the Fox Pro X24. And just to let you guys know right up front here, this is not any sort of comparison. This is just a quick run through what comes in the box and my initial thoughts on it so far, using it on probably five, five to seven stands so far probably. So just getting right into it, we will first start with the actual call itself. I uh, really like the new ergonomics of this, the kind of the construction, the quality is just what you would expect from Fox Pro if you've owned Fox Pro in the past. And as Fox Pro is, this is a fully American made product right here and it comes with Fox Pro's uh, limited five year warranty, which is an awesome addition. And you can just tell whenever you first get this thing out of the box, just the build quality on this, very solid construction, uh, no wiggling, jiggling parts whenever you move it around. Uh, just a very well put together uh, piece of equipment. Uh, starting at the bottom here, you'll notice it's got these very versatile uh, foldable legs on it. So you can set it up like this on a big wide open field, uh, gets it off the ground just a little bit and allows you to kind of tilt this, you know, whichever way you want to. Uh, you can put these legs about any, any position that you need to, whatever suits you best. Uh, you can fold it back, you know, put this flat, set it directly on the ground just like that. You can take this, kind of fold it up, put this on a, a, a fence post, a T-handle of a fence post, hanging off of a gate, wire, whatever you want to, to get it up even further, tree branch. Just a lot of options there and allows the user to basically set it up exactly how he or she needs to. Uh, moving on to the back here, um, nice toggle switch right here for your power on and off. Uh, up here, one thing that I really like about this, I'm not going to take the cover off, but this does come already with a rechargeable battery pack. So typically in the past and maybe some other uh, competitor calls, uh, you do have to purchase the rechargeable battery pack separately, basically after or along with the call. Um, this just comes right in the box and that's the pack that you use. So all you have to do is you initially put this in whenever you first get it right here. And then you've got this flap right here, this uh, plastic rubber cover. You just move this out of the way and that's where your charging port goes. Just plug it right in there, let it fully charge. Uh, the charger that goes into the wall, it'll show you when it's a fully charged, unplug it and you're good to go. Along the same lines back here on this, underneath this rubber grommet, uh, you can also add another additional speaker to it if you ever need to. And whenever it comes time to, if you ever add more calls to this, you would actually do it through this access door back here. Take the door off, take the battery pack out, and that's where your USB plug-in goes to hook it up to the computer to download new calls and install them onto your call. Up top here, it's got a couple screws where you could put a uh, Picatinny rail if you ever need to. Um, on the sides here, it's got two spots here where you can put a lanyard on it. That way you can throw it over your shoulder, uh, carrying it to and from your spots. And onto the front here, which is what really makes this thing awesome, is you've got your regular horn speaker, but here on the front, they've included a tweeter, which gives this thing awesome clarity, super high pitched sounds and just crystal clear. And one reason that I did go with this call is because it does play true 24 bit sounds. Uh, which is very nice, just adds a lot more clarity. It's able to put out a lot of those frequencies that even the human ear can't really dictate or pick up, but a coyote is able to. So very nice feature there, playing the 24-bit sounds. And that's kind of it, quick run through for the call itself. And as a lot of the other Fox Pros come, uh, this does have the Fox Bang, the Fox Data, which records a lot of stain conditions as far as temperature, barometer, um, moon conditions, things like that to the remote. You can download that to the computer and kind of see uh, maybe when your best movement of coyotes were, uh, slowest movements, things like that. And this has Fox Cast and Fox Motion. And one of the very first bullet points on the box itself, and I know people have complained about the remote in the past as far as range goes. Um, one of the first bullet points that says improved remote range performance for long range use. Um, I typically, I hunt a lot at night, so I don't set up my call a real long ways from me anyway. And on my previous Fox, Fox Pros that I've used, 
I uh, never did find that to be a problem, but I do know that there's people out there uh, that can kind of brought that up as a concern, I guess you would say. I'm uh, not going to go through the full, you know, itemized list here on the box. You guys can get on the website. I'm going to put a link down below so you guys can take a look at it there and see what you think about it. Um, it comes with 100 preloaded sounds, and then you can actually get up to 1,000 on this remote. So it comes with 100, depending on where you buy it from, and then you can also, you know, add a ton more on there, up to 1,000. And then we'll move on to the remote here, and the remote is powered by three AA batteries. And I'm going to get this changed here on the remote and change it to daytime. Uh, this has a daytime, a nighttime, and what they call Fox Pro. And I'll just kind of go through those. Hopefully you, can, you guys can see that from there. So you got some different settings. Uh, I typically leave mine on nighttime because majority of my hunting is at night. I do get out some during the day, uh, but majority is at night. But the TX1000 uh, remote from Fox Pro is just, it's just awesome. Um, Tons of features, tons of tons of options. You can actually link this up to some of the lights that they have. It keeps the temperature, it keeps the barometer, uh, shows a little symbol there, what, what your moon condition is currently. Uh, you can do the fox bang through this, the fox data, fox data, which records your stand conditions. Uh, just tons of features on this thing. And I'm not gonna take the time to go through and show everything on the remote itself, but I do have a little clip here of me uh, kind of messing with it at night. Uh, on one of my previous hunts and I'll kind of throw that in here and you guys can take a look at it. But this remote with the new, what they call XHD speaker on this thing with the tweeter on the front, this thing's been awesome so far. Um, only had it out, like I mentioned, I think five to seven stands, but called in a couple coyotes already and had some good luck with it. So really looking forward to keep putting this thing in the field. I still have my Lucky Duck uh, Roughneck and may eventually do a, a comparison on that. And you guys have probably seen in some of my other videos where I compared another Fox Pro to one of the Lucky Ducks, and then I've got a thorough review on my channel as well of the Lucky Duck Roughneck, so I might compare the Roughneck uh, with this. I actually sold the Fox Pro Fusion to one of my buddies, was able to help him out with that, and uh, looking forward to keep using this more, and I'm gonna keep the, the Lucky Duck Roughneck in rotation as well, just because it's an awesome call as well. But um, always like having different options, different different sounds, you know, to, to use different times of year and uh, just kind of mix things up. So that's kind of my quick rundown. If you guys haven't been following along, I've got tons of coyote hunting footage on my channel. I'm going to make sure and link those uh, down below as well as throw a card up here and then uh, one at the end as well. So you guys can take a look at it there. Going to be a lot more footage coming out, a lot more coyote hunting to be had. Just getting into the good part of coyote season. So really looking forward to it. You guys make sure and stay tuned for more content. Like I say, take a look at this down below. I'm going to link it. You guys can read the reviews there, see what you think about it, and uh, see if it's one that might fit your hunting style. But uh, always appreciate you guys being along. Make sure and follow along so you can see these future coyote hunting videos come out. Appreciate you guys being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.